morning. It's my uh, morning coffee series video. I haven't made one for a little while. Um, I'm going to talk about a few simple things today while I make myself a coffee. Uh, one of the ones is moving the machine around. I've actually uh, always, <coughs> when reviewing, <coughs> used felt furniture dots to move the machine around. Now that's uh, what I've got on the table in front there. I don't know if you can see them. Let's have a look in the screen. Yes. I've got the thin black dots. They're just felt pads. And I've got the thicker ones. Uh, that's an old one there. Um, with these felt dots, you can get them at Tesco for about <clears throat> a pound or something in the one pound section of Tesco. You know, they have these cardboard buckets set up with bits and bobs for a pound. And uh, I just stick them onto the feet of the machine. And the reason I do that is uh, filling the machines up with water, I'll just put these out of the way, can be made easier. The Elizabeth, for example, has little grippy rubber feet. <clears throat> I fill the machine up with water with one of these. And when I filled it up this morning, I thought, well, really, I want to show people. Uh, you can lift it out, but you can't slide it across the counter, and you wouldn't want to with a lot of machines. They're heavy, they can scratch, uh, whatever. But if I put four of these little black dots under the feet, they're only thin, you can't see them. I'll just grab the portafilter handle here to keep a bit out of the video. Look, the machine just slides out. You can fill it up and then we'll take it back and can you see it just slides back into place. Now the only thing is when you lock in the portafilter you will have to put a hand up here to support it because obviously the machine now is much more mobile. But I'd rather have that where I can slide it in and out to fill it up. And these fault dots will work on even very, very heavy machines. Um, so it's a good tip. Uh, it costs virtually nothing and it makes the machine much easier to live with. Now, while that's grinding, I keep being asked about these scales. And I get, I must get three or four messages a week about where they can buy these scales. These were made by Smartway and they haven't been made for a couple of years now. I did buy two sets of scales, they come in a little box. They're fantastic. Um, if ever I see them up for sale again, I'd buy myself a third, uh, a third pair in case they go wrong. They cost uh, eight pounds. Uh, very inexpensive, £7.99, very, very inexpensive. But I'm afraid you can't get them anymore, and they do weigh 2.01 of a gram. So, yeah, please stop asking me about them, because uh, I, I have searched high and low, and you simply can't get these anymore. So what we're going to do, I've ground my coffee, I've weighed my coffee out, which is important, uh, and I guess on the subject of scales... The reason why I bought them up as well was it's very important to weigh the coffee you're getting out of the machine as well. Um, it just helps. For example, I'm, I'm putting 16 grams of coffee into this porter filter. I want my output to be uh, roughly, let's lock that in, hand on the side because remember I've now, I just need to support the machine a little bit. Um, I've actually placed 16 grams of coffee in the porter filter. I'd be looking for 30 to 32 grams out. Uh, for, this is a Burundi I'm using here. And there's my cat wanting to get in. So let's just hit that shot. I've got a timer set, I think, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, hopefully it will get the time about right. I haven't checked the grind today. I assume it's okay. I'm gonna let this cat in. And this is not about the shop. This is uh, more about the felt feet and these scales. So as I say, get yourself a set of felt feet. I find them essential as a reviewer because I'm actually looking to uh, move machines around and especially when I'm doing the technical review. But I think you'll find them very handy at home when you're wanting to move your machine out from under a space to fill it because on this video I'll show you you see I'm right under the cupboards so I have to pull them out to fill them. 